This is a quick tutorial to show you how I made this lightning effect uh, with help from these um, lightning video assets from Lumabox, but also some effects in After Effects to make this uh, kind of black and white flashing effect to accompany the, the lightning. So I'll start again from scratch. So I have my facade in my comp uh, that I made with Luma Map, and then I'm just going to drag some of these lightning assets. So these are just um, video files with some sort of glowy lightning strikes on them that um, begin and then complete. So you can loop them if you want. Uh, I'm going to drag all of these into my lightning comp, and um, they are all 4K, whereas I'm working at full HD, which is 1920 by 1080 in this comp. So they're all too large. I'm gonna grab the corner, hold down shift to keep the scale proportional and just make them more of an appropriate scale within my comp. And I'm also going to set them to lighten. So now I have some lightning strikes, I will distribute them a little bit throughout the comp so they don't all occur at once. So I'll have one flash and maybe I'll move this so that it's kind of emitting maybe from the base of whatever this sort of metal, metal uh, thing is. Similarly some of these could maybe be emitting from, I don't know, that maybe. That's okay, coming out of that strange eye object. And this, those are okay as they are. Those are more um, sort of general strikes from above, so they can stay where they are. Okay, so that, that's the, the, the lightning strike done. Um, what I will do now is make that flashing sort of black and white effect. So I'll do that by, sorry, I, in fact, I'll go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And this can sit just above my uh, facade layer and onto this, in fact, I will call it flashing. And onto this layer, I am going to put a threshold effect and um, I will set this to something like, yeah, that looks pretty good. And all I need to do now is when the lightning strike is occurring, so here is the first time it sort of builds to a full flash, maybe there. So at that point, I would want this layer to be, uh, its opacity to be 100%. I want it to be fully opaque. So I'll drop a keyframe here because I know I want it to be in full f sort of flash at this moment. But when the um, lightning has yet to sort of start, I don't want to see it at all. So I'm going to put that to zero and a keyframe gets automatically created. So now it goes from off to flash and I can then put it back to zero to make it a single flash. So it's just once, but I could also um, duplicate. So this was when it was full flash. So I can actually copy that keyframe and this keyframe. So control C and paste. So then it goes off on, off, on, off, in a kind of striking, uh, flashing effect. And I could maybe do another lot of that. So I've still got it copied, the keyframes copied. So if I do Control V again, just flashes a couple of times before going back to zero. And you can, um, do these to taste. Maybe you want um, it to be not such an abrupt flash. Maybe you want it to kind of diminish a little bit over time like that, uh, sort of to fade away. So these keyframes are really up to you. Um, 
but you can, once you get an effect you like, so let's see how that looks. Maybe I'll continue. Whoops. Let's do it. So I'm going on, off, on, and so on. Copy that, and I'll let it continue for a little bit more. So it's flashing for a longer period of time. And again. How does that look? Yep, I like that. So now I can copy all of these keyframes and every time that a lightning strike occurs, because we have more um, that occur later on in our animation, every time, so there it's built up to full, um, full kind of electrical power. So I want my flash to start, start at this point, so I'll just Control V and paste those keyframes on, and the flash will also happen there. And I can do that for each one of these lightning flashes. So, another one here, another one here. Whoop, okay, so I had this, this layer selected when I pasted the keyframe, so that was a mistake and now we can see them here on the opacity for this layer but that's not what we wanted so I'm going to remove keyframes and make sure the opacity is 100 again so that was a mistake I need this flashing layer selected when I paste my keyframes so full force there so paste let's see how that looks And there you have a flashing lightning effect.